Okay, and now let's turn to the most most important differentiate TD differentiation rule, the chain rule. The chain rule uh, stated uh, the chain rule that is uh, stated that how to find the derivative of our composition functions uh, if y is f u and u is g x then the d y over d x that is the derivative of u times the derivative uh, d, the derivative of y and uh, in terms of u and the u the derivative of u in terms of x or we can write f y is f g x then the y derivative is first we regarded the gx we regard the gx as a whole as a variable or as a whole and uh, take the derivative of gx then take the gx the derivative of g in terms of x that's the result for uh, that. That's the result of chain rule, or the conclusion of chain rule. Uh, actually, the theorem says that uh, suppose y is equals f u is differentiable. at u equals gx and uh, u a equals gx is differentiable at x then dy over dx that is the derivative of u times the f the derivative of f u times the derivative of gx or write as dy over du times du over dx that is the derivative of y in terms of u times the derivative of derivative of u in terms of x or we write as y derivative equals f the derivative of gx we regard gx as a whole as or as a variable times the derivative of gx in terms of x. That's the chain rule. Well, the x, the y, the derivative of y in terms of x, that is the derivative of intermediate and uh, the, uh, the intermediate variable u and times the uh, derivative of u to x. Okay, let's use this chain rule. Oh, okay, and we prove. Prove. We prove the theorem, uh, theorem first. That is dy over dx or the y prime. That is the limit delta x tends to zero and delta y over delta x. That's the definition of derivative. Then we can write as delta y over delta u times delta u over delta x because we multiply both nominator and denominator by delta u. That's the same. Then we separate in two limits delta x tends to 0, delta y over delta u times limit delta u over delta x. 
that's delta x tends to 0. Uh, because gx is differentiable, so it's continuous at x. So delta uh, u ten, uh, approaches to 0 as delta x approaches to 0, because delta u, that is gx plus delta x minus delta uh, gx. So, uh, and gx is continuous. at x. So when delta x ten, uh, approaches to 0, delta u approaches to 0 as well. So the first limit we can write as limit delta u approaches to 0, delta y over delta u times the limit delta x tends to 0, that is delta u over delta x. So that is dy over du times du over dx. Or if we write y is fu, u is gx, so that is derivative of fu times the derivative of gx as the proof. Now we use this uh, chain rule to find the, uh, find the derivative of some functions, for, uh, especially for the comp uh, composition functions. The first is uh, when y equals uh, 3x squared plus 2x minus 7 as our power, uh, exponential 10 and find the derivative of y. Solution is, at first, uh, we use, uh, each time we write, write it down the intermediate variable. So let u equals 3x squared plus 2x minus 7, then y equals the u of 10. So dy over du is 10 times u of line, and the du over dx, that is uh, 3x squared plus 2x minus 7. By, this, by the addition and the sub, uh, derivative of addition and the subtraction, we got that is 6x plus 2. And hence, the dy over dx, that is dy over du times du over dx. dy over du, that is 10 times u of line, and du dx, that is 6x plus 2. Uh, insert u back to the expression, that is 10 times 6x plus 2 times 3x squared plus 2x minus 7 of line. That's the first example. The second example, if y equals mm, e of x5 and then find the derivative of y. Each time we write down the intermediate variable, let u equals x of 5, then y is e of u. So we got dy over du, that is e of u, and du over dx, that is 5 x4. So y prime that is dy over dx that equals dy over du and times du over dx by the chain rule. 
dy over du, that is e of u, du of dx, that is 5 of x4. So that is 5x4 e of x5. Yeah, we, ins we insert u back. The third, if y is log cosine x and find the derivative of y. The solution is we let u equals cosine x then y equals log u so we have dy over du that is 1 over u and du over dx that is the negative sine x so y prime that is dy over dx that is dy over du times du over dx dy over du that is 1 over u du dx that is negative sine x then we insert the u back that <coughs> u is cosine x so that is 1 over cosine x times negative sine x that is a negative sine x over cosine x so that is negative tan tangent x that's for one intermediate variable uh, if there's uh, two or more intermediate variables we use the same thing this is the same trick that is if uh, there's two or more intermediate variable that if for two intermediate variables why if uh, if y equals f u u is g v and v is h x then dy over dx y uh, dy d, dx that is dy over du times du over dv times dv over dx that is f u prime times g prime v and times h prime x For the example, that is y is log sine, uh, for example, that is 2 of x. Find y prime. The solution is we let uh, u is sine v, v is 2 of x then y equals log u and dy over du or we can write directly uh, dy over dx that is dy over du times du over dv times dv over dx the dy over du that is 1 over u because y equals log u du over dv that is cosine v the derivative of u in terms of v and the dv dx that is 2 of x times log x then we insert back u is actually sine v sine v is sine 2 of x cosine v is cosine 2 of x and then times 2x log log 2 sorry here is log 2 so equals 2 of x times log 2 
that is cotangent q of x. That's, that is for two or more intermediate variables. If y is e of sine 1 over x, find y prime. The solution is if we let u is sine v, v is 1 over x, then y equals e of u. So dy over dx, that is y prime. That is dy over du times du over dv times dv over dx. The derivative of y in terms of u, that is just eu. du over dv, that is cosine v. dv dx, that is negative 1 over x squared and insert back. So negative 1 over x squared cosine v is 1 over x and e of u that is sine v v is 1 over x. Uh, the first at first we can use this trick that is we find all uh, intermediate variables and it use the chain rule. After, after, after we g or after we, uh, after we have done uh, many, uh, some, some exercises, we can use uh, the more convenient or more efficient way that is uh, use the bracket. As of, we can write that get rid of bracket. Uh, each time, each time we take the derivative of, of one bracket, we view a bracket uh, as a whole. For example. Uh, the uh, first and the, the fourth example y equals log sine 2 of x actually we can write here as a as a bracket bracket find y prime each time we get rid of one bracket What this mean? The y prime. Uh, that is y is log something. It's log something. We view this bracket as a whole because we know that f g x. The deriv derivative of this form. That is first we view g x, or we regard g x as one variable, and then takes the derivative. First, we take derivative of gx in terms of gx. We, we regard gx as a whole or as an intermediate variable. That is, uh, each bracket uh, each bracket represents a variable. So this big bracket, we view this big, big bracket as a variable. So that is log something, log something. So the first, we take the derivative in terms of the bracket. So that's a log bracket. So the, the derivative of log, that is 1 over x. So that is sine 2 over x in the bracket as a whole. And then take the derivative in the bracket. Okay, we write this. Now 
there's another bracket. This bracket as a whole, or this bracket as a variable. So that is a sum as uh, that is a sign of something. So the derivative of a sign that is cosine. This the in the bracket is a whole. So that is q of x. That is the derivative of sine that is cosine, and the bracket as a whole. And then after we get this sign out, we got then we take the derivative of in uh, it the derivative of derivative in the bracket. So that is 1 over sine 2x and cosine 2 of x. The derivative of 2 of x, that is 2x times log 2. So that is 2x times log 2 times cotangent 2 of x. That each time we, we get rid of one bracket or one pair of bracket. Use this trick, we can do we can find uh, more derivatives. Okay. Uh, let's take more examples. If um, y equals tangent square sine cube x, find y prime. So what is about this function? What is the bracket? It's not, uh, there's uh, not too many, uh, not, not, not for, not every bracket is uh, in, uh, in the explicit form. But, but the tangent square, that actually, that is 10 sine, that is tangent square. Sine cube as actually sine x of cube. So that's the bracket. That's the first bracket. So the takes the derivative. So the bracket that is something of square. The first bracket of square. So they take the derivative. We take the bracket as a whole. That is u square, like u square. Then that is two of tangent sine x cube that's the second and then the two actually tends to one that's square first is the square the bracket of square so we take the derivative that is two and it's bracket of of, of exponent one and then take the take the derivative into the uh, for the for the in, in the bracket, as takes this derivative. Now there's another bracket, so that is, that is take the derivative for tangent something. So two times ten. We don't need this bracket. Ten sine x cube. There's a bracket, and uh, now th that is uh, take the derivative for tangent something. The deriv derivative of tangent that is a second square, and the bracket. Now we get the second. Uh, we get get rid of this pair of bracket. This pair of bracket then take the derivative into the bracket, that's the cube, and then take the, this derivative. So that is 2 ten actually the sine cube x 
times secant square actually as sine x cube now this uh, for this bracket that that is something of cube so that is 3 sine x that's square and then take the derivative into the bracket okay that is 2 and 6 so that is uh, 2 and 3 6 tangent uh, sine cube x times secant square sine cube x and sine times uh, times sine square x and the last uh, the last derivative is cosine x that's all after we get the last uh, uh, get rid of get rid of the last uh, bracket then then we are done and uh, mm, there is something um, this trick can be due for more uh, for more general form of composite function for example uh, this function is uh, difficult to set set out the intermediate variables because there's a composition function and subtraction and uh, uh, there's a uh, mixed of composition function and subtraction and uh, 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 subtraction and addition so this this one is It's uh, difficult to set to uh, to, uh, to find the derivative we use the intermediate variables because it is mixed with uh, with composition function and uh, addition. So we use if we use the get rid of use the method of get rid of the brackets maybe it's easier because why. First, y can be written as x plus square root x plus square root x or one half. So y derivative. So first we view is there's bracket. So that's something of uh, our power one over two, uh, x to one over two. So that as one half x plus x plus square root x that's negative one half then we take the derivative in in, in the bracket that is one half x plus square root x plus square root x that's negative one half but in the in the bracket there's actually that's there's two functions, the addition of two functions. So we take the derivative separately. That is one half x plus square root x plus square root x negative one half. The first part is one. The second part is another com another composition function. So x plus square root x then takes the square root. That is actually x plus square root x one half. So as derivative, use the same uh, the same method. That is one half. There's a bracket and x plus square root x negative one half then times x plus square root x the derivative so that is one half x plus square root x negative one half and uh, into the bracket that's sub, uh, that's addition so that's one plus one half x negative one half so here is one this part 
this part. And this part. This part is here. So as oh, there's two. Uh, this part is actually here. So as one over two x plus square root x negative one half times one plus one half x negative one half. That's the uh, the last uh, last result. This trick uh, is something easier to uh, to find the derivative of the function mixed of uh, addition, subtraction, multiplications, uh, and quotient divisions and the composition function mixed of composition and other other types of, of operations of functions. Okay, let's see a similar example that is uh, 3x plus square root 2 plus square root 1 minus x and find y prime. The solution is if we view the square root as a bracket, that is y prime after after we uh, after we have done for enough exercises so we can write down the uh, derivative directly that is one half three x plus square root two plus square root one minus x that's this negative one half then times the derivative in the bracket That is one half three x plus square root two plus square root one minus x. That's negative one half into the bracket. There's addition three, three. The derivative for first term. The second. Uh, the derivative for second. For second term is one half two plus square root one minus x. That's negative one half. Then times two plus square root of one minus x. That's one half. That's derivative. That is one half three x plus square root two plus square root one minus x negative one half. 3 plus 1 half 2 plus square root 1 minus x that's negative 1 half okay into here uh, this derivative is only times this one we can cannot get uh, take this derivative out this bracket that cannot we cannot do this it's only uh, Related to this, so to this this term, so that is one half two plus square root one minus x. That's negative one half. Then times the uh, derivative into the bracket. That is one half three x plus square two plus a uh, square root square root 1 minus x, negative 1 half, that's 3 plus, that's 1 fourth, 2 plus square root 1 minus x, negative 1 half, oh sorry, uh, the, we did uh, repeat uh, we don't have this part. Take the derivative for this one. Uh, 
this. We we will already done this part. So we we already done this part. So we just take the derivative for this part. This part is actually uh, there's two terms. The first term, the derivative of first term is zero. The second derivative, that is the one minus x of one half. So that is the one half, one minus x negative one half, then times one minus x, the derivative. Because this square root uh, can be regarded as a bracket. So that is one half, three x. 3x plus square root 2 plus square root 1 minus x that's negative 1 half at 3 uh, there's 1 half 1 half and uh, plus 1 fourth 2 plus square root 1 minus x that's negative 1 half bracket is here and time 1 minus x, that's negative 1 half. And uh, the derivative of 1 minus x, that is negative 1. So that is 1 half 3x plus square root 2 plus square root 1 minus x, that's negative 1 half. 3, uh, that's negative 1, that's positive, that's minus one fourth two plus square root one minus x as negative one half times one minus x negative one half. That's the uh, that's the last result. Uh, that's the chain rule. It's uh, the most important differentiation rules. It's the most important differentiation rule in all of the differentiation rules. In all of the rules. So we need to actually, uh, we need to do as much as possible exercise to familiar, familiar with this rule. And uh, if, if you, if you, do enough exercise and you can uh, remember you can remember all the basic formula and uh, formula with other actually with other rules we haven't uh, take some examples that uh, mixed with uh, multiplication and and uh, chain rules the product rule and chain rule Okay, let's stop here for training rule.